All right, I know it's been forever and I apologize for that, but we're finally doing a Meals with Maddie video, the most requested video that I get a full day of eating. You guys don't care if I was able to squat 500 pounds or deadlift 1,000. You would rather see my meals throughout the day. So with that said, let's get into meal number one. All right, so for meal number one, this may seem a little unconventional or different, but I'm trying to keep these a little bit more entertaining. Normally, I would just have rice cakes and Greek yogurt before training, but we're mixing things up today. So I'm actually going to use an egg here, some liquid egg substitute there, some of this Uncle Ben's ready rice. This is the Spanish style, never tried it yet, but you just throw the bag in the microwave and it's done in 90 seconds. Uh, we got some scallion here and some roasted tomato chipotle salsa right there. Focus! Focus on me now. So pretty much just going to cook everything together, throw it in a big bowl, and that's going to be breakfast, pre-workout meal. See how it looks. Coat the pan. So we're just going to pour that in there. And we're going to add in the egg right there and just mix it all together. So while we're scrambling this all up, mixing it together, it only takes between two and three minutes or so. So in the meantime, what we could do is take our rice, and since this takes about 90 seconds, we'll toss this in the microwave while that cooks so they're done at the same time. So. All right, so rice was done. We weighed out a half a serving of it. So this comes with two servings. So we're going to half a serving here, which is one cup of rice. I'm gonna add that to the eggs. No gains left behind. And then just mix this all up. Let that heat up together, and now we can add our salsa. Now, I'm actually not going to measure this. It's only two grams of carbs per serving, and I'll maybe just use one serving. Just a little bit to add a little bit more flavor. So that's really it. And again, just give that a mix. And just let that heat up and mix together and then we're all done. All right, last minute decision was made to add a little bit of fat-free sour cream on top. So that's pretty much the finished product right there. All right, so before we go any further with the video, people are probably going to wonder throughout the video, why are his calories low? How many, what are his macros, this and that. I'll let you guys know the macros of each meal as I'm showing you them on the screen. And also, I'm in a slight deficit, so I'm only eating around 2,500 calories a day, around 60 grams of fat, 260 carb, and about 210 to 215 protein. So that's my normal macros, and I also have a refeed day, so maybe I'll save a Meals with Maddie for a refeed so I can show you something that's a little bit more carb heavy. But that's what's going on now. I'm going to eat this meal, and I'll show you the rest as I eat them. All right, so I have to say, I give myself some serious props for this meal. That Spanish style rice is really good. It doesn't really add much spice or anything, which I thought it would, but I added some of that chipotle salsa, so it's got a little kick, and the sour cream adds that creaminess, so. Perfect. All right, so we've got a bunch of the ingredients right here. We got just some of this whole grain bread, nothing fancy there. We got some chicken already cooked. We have some turkey bacon. You see that? Focus in. Turkey bacon, lettuce, tomato, and we're going to be using some of this. Come on, you can do it. There we go. So we're going to put that on at the end. All right, you get the point, so let's get cooking. All right, so we got all the ingredients here. We got the chicken we're going to use, the tomato sliced up, some lettuce right there. We're going to cook some green beans to have on the side. Have an apple on the side. Got to hit those micros. Got our sauce here, so we're going to toast this up in the pan. As soon as the bacon's done, you want to say what's up? Hi. <laughs> so, when you find a fiance that will flip your bacon, she's a keeper. All right, bread's toasting up nicely. Just about done. Perfect, babe, thank you. And let's start building the sandwich. All right, we got everything right here. We're gonna start with the chipotle barbecue sauce. One tablespoon, which is a half a serving, only four grams of carbs. Chicken, lettuce, tomato, crunchy bacon, boom! All right, final meal all put together. BLT right there. Some green beans, we just gotta put some salt on those. An apple, Quest barbecue chips, and a Coke Zero.
And yes, for the record, I'm one of the people that happen to think these Quest chips are really good. I will admit, you're not comparing them to a regular full-fat chip, but for 21 grams of protein and potato chips, they're damn good, and by far, the barbecue ones are the best. So, do I recommend these? Yes, I do. The sea salt ones don't have too much flavor, but I'm not going to sit here and bullshit you guys and tell you they're the best tasting chips ever made, because they're not. But, they're damn good, and they're loaded with protein. So, great if you are dieting, if you're flexible dieting, you want to fit in some chips, these are the way to go, the barbecue ones. 120 calories, two fat, five carb for the whole bag, and 21 protein, so. All right, so I just got a package to the door. I actually know what it is. I was gonna do a quick unboxing of it. Um, it's actually funny that it came on the day I'm doing a full day of eating video because I know it's a scale. And I was actually looking to buy myself a new scale, but this one was sent to me. Oh man, sorry, I forgot the company's name. Dust Malchi, I guess it is. It's a Bluetooth scale that they wanted to send to me and they were ready to jump the gun. They gave me a promo code, a discount code for everyone. I'm like, whoa, pump the brakes because I'm not gonna start pushing a product and throwing out promo codes for something I haven't even used yet, which I might not do anyway, but it's a scale that I figured I would just unbox for you guys, so let's see. <laughs> so they have a note inside and it says, hello, Maddie, thank you for taking the time to review the VS3200. I sincerely hope that you will like this product and find it beneficial to you. Have an awesome day that's full of gains. So, that's some comedy right there from them. We back in focus, we good? All right, so, the scale is called Vita Signs. That actually looks pretty legit there. So it's a Bluetooth digital body analyzer scale. Download the free Vita Signs app, sync to your favorite products, set your goals, track your progress using the user-friendly app from the Apple App Store. So I guess we gotta throw the batteries in and I'll test it out. Uh, this, this is, no, no, we're not letting them take over. This is a full day of eating video, not a full day of weighing yourself and testing a scale video. So I'll talk about this product in another video and I'm gonna hop in the shower and then back to eating. All right, next meal, rocking the If It Fits Your Macro shirt. It felt like it was appropriate since we will be making some burgers. So we got some ground chicken here. We're gonna form into some burger patties. We got some of this Alexia 98% fat-free fries. Maybe do a side salad, something like that. So we're gonna start building this together. I say we, because Brittany's holding the camera and she's mm. having one as well. So we'll put that together and show you what it's like. All right, so we got the chicken burger patties made. Gonna season them up a little bit on mine. Going a little bit of black pepper and some sea salt. Hit the other side and then toss them in the pan. All right, so in the meantime, while that's going, we got fries cooking up in there, and I'm gonna make a side salad right now, so. All right, burgers cooking up over there. Fries look pretty perfect. I like them a little bit crispy, so we're good there. And we have the salad made using some Bolt House Farms blue cheese dressing. So we'll actually throw that in the fridge waiting for everything else to get done. All right, now comes the steam method. Once the cheese is on, a little bit of water, steam that, get the juice inside the burger, let the cheese melt. We actually saw this on the Cooking Network last night also, so. All right, so I just decided I'm gonna hit this burger with some jalapenos right here. Jalapeno Jack Queso with Salsa Verde. And Macro's actually really good on this. 25 calories per serving, and I'll only use a half a serving because I'm only just gonna put it on the bun, so. All right, so you guys already know this wouldn't be a Meals with Maddie video if I wasn't making my famous protein recipe. So we got the ingredients right here. Already put this into my fitness pal so it fits my macros perfectly. Unsweetened almond milk. We got our frozen strawberries. Frozen banana in there. Non-fat plain Greek yogurt. And cereal as our topping. So if you're not familiar with the protein, I've made this in many videos before and I will be doing another full video on how to make it, but essentially everything that's in there is going to go in this blender with some ice and we're gonna make kind of like a frozen yogurt type consistency smoothie.
All right, so we got the Frotino blended up here. I know some people may be due to the channel not familiar with this, but it's like my Froyo type recipe. And I've made it many times on the channel before, you can check it out. Got the cinnamon toast crunch here on the side, which I'll pour on top for a topping. That will pretty much finish off the macros. Actually, what will really finish off the macros is this right here, cookie dough quest bar. So I'll be eating this a little bit later on tonight. Get to have that shake now. But let's kind of wrap up this video. I'll show you guys, let's give you a closer look at the macros real quick. Our goal for fat was 60 grams. We hit 59, not a big deal. Carbs, we were aiming for 260. We hit 261, so we may be holding some extra water tomorrow, but I'll take that as glycogen super compensation, so that's a good thing. Just kidding, guys. And goal for protein, 215, we hit 213, so we might lose a little bit of muscle overnight, but overall, we were within about five grams of our targets, also hitting 45 grams of fiber for the day. All right, so we're gonna close off the video here, and I know my arm's awkward, but I'm holding a light because the lighting in here sucks. But to close it off, this was a pretty good example of what flexible dieting is. I hit my fiber, I drank plenty of water throughout the day, which you guys didn't see, but I ate fruits, I ate vegetables, I ate micronutrient dense foods, I ate my greens. These are things you need to focus on, whether you're flexible dieting or being an if it fits your macros kind of person. Yes, you can get shredded eating ice cream, pizza and stuff, but if that's the majority of your diet, you have to think about your health as well, not just the superficial physique on the outside. So have some fun with your foods, be flexible, enjoy yourself. but don't neglect your health and nutrition. So that's it. You guys know, as always, if you want to see more of these, you got to smash that thumbs up button. I'm actually thinking of putting this out there to hold myself accountable. Maybe I'll start doing, since the series is called Meals with Maddie, I'll start doing Monday Meals with Maddie. And every Monday or every other Monday, I'll put out a full day of eating video. If you guys like that idea, again, Hulk smash that like button and uh, that will be the feedback. So I know if you guys are enjoying these and to keep them going. So thanks as always for the support. I appreciate it. Until next time, we'll catch you guys in the next video.